everyone, Rob Greenfield here, and I'm with Brian and Kyle White, the Yapan brothers. And right here, it might look like we're standing in a forest, which we are, but this is also their farm. Right here is the Yapan holly tree, and this is why we're here. I'm really excited to share their story with you because this plant right here could replace coffee and tea. This is North America's only caffeinated plant, and it is a local, sustainable, and native source for that caffeine that people love so much. So Brian, tell us, why are we here in the forest that you call your farm? Two years ago, I was looking at our Yopan holly in our garden, and I was reading about it, and I realized that it's North America's only native caffeinated plant has been consumed by Native Americans for thousands of years. And we started asking, like, why isn't anyone drinking this stuff? Why aren't we making any products from this sustainable native plant species that does everything for us that tea can do? I said, well, it must not taste very good. And we started forcing it on our friends and relatives, and we found out that it, it's actually a great product. And it was just time for Yopan to be reintroduced to the marketplace. And that's what started us creating Yopan Brothers and creating products that we have today. So most people's question, well, is what is Yapan? But we kind of went through that. So what is so great about Yapan Holly? Our Yopan is wild crafted, which means it grows here, totally natural. Uh, we don't add any pesticides, fertilizers, irrigation. It's watered with Florida rain showers. That's it. So we work totally in harmony with nature to produce our Yopan tea here in Florida. No watering, no pesticides, no herbicides, any of those things. And a big part of that right now is that Florida you have these toxic algae blooms, so this would not contribute to that at all, right? Yeah, you, you know, uh, people buying Yopan over tea, over coffee, uh, they're making a choice that uh, helps to eliminate that source of pollution entirely. So it's grown right here, and then after harvesting, what's next? We go to our, our factory, our tea shop, which is right down the road, and we process Yopan into the products that you buy in a grocery store. All right, so let's head on, head on over there. So we're here at the Yapan factory, and this is where the leaves that are harvested in the forest farm are now turned into something that we can actually drink as a tea. So where is most of our tea and coffee, where people are getting their caffeine coming from right now? Most coffee and tea in the U.S. actually comes from overseas. It has to cross the ocean to get here. So most of your coffee comes from South America. Most of your tea comes from Asia, Sri Lanka, Indonesia. This is really the only option for caffeinated tea that grows in the continental United States. So we'd like to present a better option here for tea in the U.S. for people to drink. So changing that industry would be a massive shift in, in the United States and around the world. It would take a lot of weight off the environment as well, yes. All right, so how can people drink Yapan Holly if they want to? Well, the really great thing about being in the South is that you can process and produce Yapan Holly from trees in your own yard. Um, you can find it growing in the wild. You can buy it from yohanbrothers.com online. Um, and we sell the trees as well. Cool, so you can literally go out and forage it, you can buy the tea from them at a lot of shops or online, or you can actually buy a tree and grow it in your own yard. That's right. So if you are in North America and you're drinking tea, coffee, or yerba mate, and you want to do it in a more sustainable way that's not shipping stuff around the world, then Yapan Holly is the tea for you.